Over the last eight years, I've conducted more interviews than I can count, somewhere north of 100. I was asked just a couple weeks ago at a local event what I thought was keeping strong candidates from getting hired. One of the things that we hit on in this conversation was people who struggle in interviews. These people could be the most charismatic people in the world, yet still feel a sense of pressure that keeps them from being themselves. Today, I've got three of the biggest mistakes you're making while being interviewed. Isn't it funny how we always go with the number three? Two wouldn't be very convincing, so I've got three. Number one, stop showing off your work. If you really need a pat on the back, then show it to your mom. Put it up on the refrigerator. I'm glad you've done some cool stuff, but everyone's done some cool stuff. Instead of just throwing your portfolio on the board or screen and looking around the room waiting for your round of applause, take me on the journey of how you arrived at the end result. That's so much more impressive. Be proud of your work, but not naive to the fact that it could be improved upon. All UX has better answers. Number two, you're putting me to sleep. As you begin to present your work and you take me on the journey, don't lose sight of the fact that your presentation is only as good as my understanding of the presentation. Skills like learning to read the room come into play here. I've seen it on a countless number of occasions when people drone on for 15 minutes without skipping a beat. They never check for understanding. They never check to see if I've got any questions. Or better yet, they never stop to ask questions themselves to help me get re-engaged. Remember that your presentation could still be considered a conversation or collaboration. And number three, if you're applying for an internship or associate level position, don't be afraid to not know an answer. If you're asked a question in the interview in regards to a project or UX challenge you've done and you don't feel confident in your answer, don't be afraid to show some vulnerability and flat out say you don't know. But then don't stop there. Respond with what you would intend to do to get the answer figured out. Maybe you'd like to ask more follow-up questions. Maybe you'd like to do some additional interviews or surveys or just general research. Don't leave your answer just with, I don't know. Instead, make it, I don't know for sure, but I would like to do is this and that. This shows me that you're curious and teachable. I'm not hiring you to have all the answers at this point in time. I'm hiring you to help discover the answers. So there it is, your three biggest interviewing mistakes. Stop showing off your work, you're putting me to sleep, and don't be afraid to not have an answer. Are you doing these things and still finding yourself unemployed? Feel free to reach out and I'd be happy to help in whatever way I can. Or maybe you've got some other tips. If that's the case, let me know. Thanks for watching this episode of Design Today. And don't forget to check back next week as I've got new episodes that I roll out every Tuesday morning. Your support via shares, comments, likes, and subscribes go a long way in helping me gain exposure. And I really do appreciate it. Uh, a reminder that if you watch on YouTube, there is a podcast version available that is convenient uh, when you're sitting at your desk working. Or if you're a podcast listener, you can see me, my guests, and our smiling faces on the YouTube channel. In either case, just search Design Today and subscribe. If you're interested in sponsoring, collaborating, or feel like you've got a message that would be beneficial for the show, always feel free to reach out and connect.